Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your tarot reading. Um, when I was shuffling out this month's reading for you, I had two really interesting images, and oddly enough, they're connected. Okay, so this is the first time where I have two images that are connected. So um, the first thing that I'm seeing is I see this uh, cartoon-looking um, character, and he's wearing like a superhero outfit, like you know the the, the tights, the spandex outfit. It has a lot of uh, yellow and blues and a little bit of red and he's wearing a cape so his cape looks like it's a uh, blue and then yellow so like one side is blue underneath it is yellow and uh, he's holding a torch so he has like a, a mask on um, it covers like his eyes and then he's holding a torch like he, he it, it looks like the Olympic uh, torch or the Olympic flame but I feel like he's some type of a superhero because he's wearing that cape and he's kind of running, holding the torch, running, trying to make sure that the light doesn't go out with the fast speed in which he runs. And he's um, he's also protecting the flame, you know, he, he's protecting it and he's um, basically leading the charge, leading the way. And then behind him, you have followers, you have people running, um, kind of like following in his trail, okay? So there's a, a lot here. The imagery is all about trailblazing stepping into your own sense of leadership your own sense of like bringing light and bringing awareness into a situation for another person and then i'm also sensing as well you know um leading the herd okay being the first on the forefront of some type of a major revolutionary change um having a wide following and having people following in your footsteps so I, I feel like the imagery is really, really transformative where you are definitely basking in the glory of the limelight. And I feel like not only are you doing that, you're also uh, stepping out of your comfort zone in order to lead people, in order to show people and um, kind of like being in your element when it comes to, you know, taking up the mantle for leadership and providing a lot of guidance to other people, okay? So the energy is really, really um, powerful. Now, the second image that I saw, I see the same guy, the same superhero. He's uh, he's in like a, a very cold climate. So it seems like there's snow on the ground. It's snowing outside, there's this blizzard, but he has this perpetual light, uh, the torch, and it never goes out. So despite the wind, the, the, the moisture, the, the the snow and you know the being battered by the wind the, the light is still shining really really brightly he encounters uh this cave this opening of the cave and it's really dark inside it's a little bit scary and all the people uh, behind him are just like go in there and check you go you go and he's like i'm gonna do this i'm, I'm gonna see what's inside because i feel like he suspects there's somebody inside so he steps into this cave and he, he walks along, um, he, he walks, kind of like fumbles his way through, right? Because, you know, when you step into a really dark environment, your eyes have to adjust. He's got that torch with him leading the way. And so he steps in and then he encounters this woman with her two children and they've been stuck in there and they've been hiding out from the blizzard for a really long time. They look malnourished. They look like they're wearing like threadbare clothing, like their pro clothing is not appropriate for that type of a climate. And so he tells them, you're safe now, you're safe now. And that's like the, the word that I'm hearing, like it, it echoes in this cane. You're safe now. He gives them his hand and then he leads them back outside. So it's the same superhero in both of these um, images. So that's interesting. That's the first time I've seen like a continuation of something. Um, what I'm getting for you from that second image is uh, there is definitely a situation where you are going to need to take charge. Okay, you have to take initiative. You have to take charge. And it's sort of like... Uh, waiting around for people to initiate things, to start things, that's no longer possible. Because I feel like there might have been situations where people were too slow to act. People were too inundated by their own fears. And so you guys have fears too. Everyone has fears. But I feel like there are things that, that trumps our fears. Okay, The things that we want to do. 
we have to overcome that inertia. We have to overcome the resistance. We have to overcome our fears. And sometimes we challenge ourselves to really face our fears head on and tell it that, you know, you don't have any bearing over me. I'm going to do this regardless of whether or not my fear is there. So we all have fears, but we also have to assess whether or not these fears are irrational. And we have to conquer our fears and we have to, you know, uh, take small steps at a time to lead us in the right direction despite our fears. So I definitely see this really powerful imagery about you bringing light, bringing awareness, bringing warmth to a person, especially when they are in need, okay? Showing other people the way and especially setting a very good example for which people can follow. So the um, there's a lot of strong um, imagery about leadership, okay? So the two messages are about you, like, um, it's like larger than life. This larger than life imagery, um, this you know superhero uh, type of a, 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 a situation, where we take it upon ourselves to do the right thing, to to lead the way, to you know overcome our fears and and not let them um, immobilize us. Okay, so I, I definitely feel here it's a really appropriate message, especially for Leos, because I feel like you're definitely in the spotlight in some major capacity in your life. Um, first of all um very strong water energies okay really 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 strong and so let me talk about that aspect first because i feel like there is it, it's like mutual energy here let me talk about this okay so this came out first the queen of cups okay so this is a water sign pisces cancer scorpio Whenever I see this person, I, I feel like this is somebody that has um, that is in a, a in an environment where there's a lot of lack, okay? But I feel like this is somebody who makes the best out of their situation. But at the same time, they're very, very, very slow to act. They are she's a mermaid. She needs water to survive, and she's perfectly aware of that. That is her biological need, okay? Um, she's been up on this stone for quite some time just kind of like playing around someone who's easily distracted um the water level is dwindling and if she were to stay here and just kind of like you know stuck in her own little fantasy make-believe world the water level is dwindling she's not going to be able to stay there for a long time and so i feel like you're dealing with somebody like this where there's predicament or their situation is not all that great and rather than you know trying to find solutions to fix the problem rather than you know being proactive about moving themselves away from this swamp and finding a cleaner a more vibrant uh, environment I feel like they're 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 not at that point where emotionally they're ready to move on they're ready to move away they're ready to 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 implement some some positive changes in their lives. This is just someone who's a little bit stuck. And I feel like in contrast, this is your energy as the Knight of Cups, bringing abundance to another person, bringing gifts, bringing offer, trying to show them a way out, trying to, you know, alleviate the situation, trying to, you know, show them that it's really vibrant where I am. You know, I'm, he's, uh, he, he's riding a fish, so he's underwater. And he's in an environment that is very, you know, submerged. It's very, 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 um, it, it's like the water level is not dwindling from where he is. And he's telling her, why don't you jump ship? Why don't you hop over this way? And I feel like you're showing that to somebody. You're showing that there's a better way to, to be. There's another place you can go. There is help on the way. There's, you know, you don't have to be stuck here, but I can only bring it to you whether or not you take the offer, whether or not you jump ship, whether or not you come towards my way. That is very much, you know, your decision. So I feel like you're trying to coax somebody to do something that you know is going to be very, very, very good for them. But there's definitely a resistance here, okay? This is somebody who has wanted 
some changes in her life or his life for quite some time, but they haven't really broken out of their comfort zones. And I feel like you're bringing into them this sense of awareness that it's okay, you're safe, and you know you can hop over this way. You don't have to stay here. The water level is dwindling. The environment is getting toxic. Um, the 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 vegetation is going to die. It, it's it's not going to be able to flourish because water the water supply is running low, and so you have to make some changes or you have to you know move away. They're not in the the right frame of mind to make this decision on their own, and I feel like you're coming in to show them this awareness to to bring to them this sense of awareness. This is what it's going to look like five years from now. This is what it's going to look like a month from now if you don't make some drastic changes. And I, I feel like you know they're being brought to this sense of awareness. You're bringing to them solutions. You're bringing to them help. You're bringing assistance to this person, and you're able to show them a way out to break away from their cycles, to break away from unhealthy situations, to break away from that that sense of like inertia, that sense of like stagnancy, and that sense of it's comfortable, it's safe and familiar here, so I'm gonna stay here. When in fact, I feel like you know the only thing that's really trapping them there is just their sense of fear. Okay. What we have as well is we have the judgment card, and the judgment card indicates a new beginning in love, especially in this deck, because、uh, we look at that thought bubble and with the little heart. So this is communication, messages,、uh, realization, major transformative realization that's coming into this person's life. So I feel like you have,、um, you, you guys are making an offer to another person. Or the offer is being extended. Okay, so there's like mutual reciprocity, mutual energy coming back and forth between you and another person. And I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who might be in a very toxic environment. They might be separated from their significant other. They might have broken up with their significant other, but the cord of attachment has not been completely 100% severed. And so, what you're offering them is the world. But I feel like there's, they still have some、uh, ties, loose ends, emotional hangups that they need to work out within themselves and with that other person. And what they're realizing is they have had a lot of strife with the other person. Five of Swords, winner takes all. Financial、uh, disentanglement is going to be very messy, and they're totally aware of that. There might be even children involved in the picture, and that's disallowing them from cleanly extricating themselves from the situation. And then I'm also fe feeling as well.、Um, this is、um, you could be dealing with, or they're dealing with somebody who's almost like very cutthroat, winner takes all.、Um, someone who's like very much about I want to be right. You know, it's it's not so much about the human connection. It's more about my ego is so big that I want to be right and I want to be proven right and I want to prove to you that I'm right. So you're dealing with some energies that are like this, a little bit like egocentric and cutthroat and just not able to let bygones be bygones because they want to prove to the world and to themselves that they're right. And so there's definitely. Some type of an awareness being made of this situation. Okay, so、um, your partner could be dealing with this. Your partner might be coming to you. Significant other or a partner、uh, or like a love interest could be coming to you, and they're just like, I have this dilemma. It's going around and around in circle, and I don't really know what to do. And I feel like you're bringing to them this light bulb, like this awareness that. If it's going around and around in circle, why do you, you know, keep yourself like? Why do you keep engaging in it? And I feel like you're saying it in a very delicate manner, but you're saying it enough with with enough force and with enough strength and with enough firmness that they're made aware that they don't have to engage in it. They don't have to, you know, constantly bicker. They don't have to. They, they don't have to to stake their claim in it anymore. Because no matter what, the other person just wants to be right. And when you're dealing with somebody where you know communication just stops, you're communicating on different levels. 
and points and you know argument points or what what do they call them like、um, objectives and main points are not getting being communicated thoroughly. People are not accepting of the truth because. They could be tunnel vision, or they could just be like, "I'm always right." So it's it's not about the communication. It's not about the truth. It's not about the information. It's all about you know who's right and who's wrong in this. So I, I feel like your partner might be engaging in that type of、um, a situation with somebody else, and I feel like you're telling them that you don't need to you know you don't need to 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 be stuck in that. Or you're dealing with somebody who's like this, and you're realizing, wow, you know, it's a negative feedback loop, right? I don't need to be in it, and I I can disentangle myself anytime. And it wasn't like I, I feel like it took a long time to realize that I don't have any stake in this, and I can just you know cleanly walk away. So I feel like there's a situation here where it, it requires like putting your foot down and kind of like you know. Drawing that line in the sand, like this is not where you you need to cross. This is my territory now. And then I'm also feeling as well, you know, ultimatums, like like putting things down,、um, setting boundaries, setting very very clear boundaries between you and another person. What I have on the table as well, we have some really beautiful things when it comes to work, career, finances. Ace of Pentacles. This is.、Um, This is a really, really beautiful card. Okay, so new beginnings when it comes to、um, a direction in life. Okay, so this is like money、uh, raining out,、uh, raining down on you, coming out from the sky. Okay, it's a source of financial abundance. That's like、um, it's self-sustaining, and it keeps coming. Okay, so you have a lot of financial abundance coming into the picture. We also have here. The six of coins, which is financial,、um, it's like a financial windfall, or a situation where if there has been, I call it like the child support, the alimony, the legal custody type of a card. So I feel like there's a steady revenue stream that's coming in for you. For many of you, this could be royalty fees. This could be like a, a really huge commission fees, finder's fee.、Um, I keep seeing like royalty checks. So somebody writing a check. And I feel like you know, if you are looking for work, okay,、um, we have a promise of a new job that's coming into the picture, and it's a really, really, really big job. And I feel like it's going to make you really happy. And I feel like you've been waiting for this for quite some time. And not only is it a job where you know you get a salary or you get like a, a wage, there's also health benefits. There are pension. There is.、Um, There's a lot of perks associated with this, and generally, when I see this job, it's like an employer really, really, really wants you. They don't want the other,、uh, you know, nine candidates that have applied for the job. They really, really want you, so they're willing to negotiate the salary with you. So if you're up for a job, especially in the private sector, and they're just like salary is negotiable. Negotiate on the higher end of the spectrum because I feel like they really want you. So you want to be strategic and smart about this. And then I also feel like the work environment itself, there will be a lot of really good people. So generosity. The people that are doing this work, they're not in it for the money. They're in it because of the ethics or the 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 objective or the the mission or the you know. The、um, the principle of the job. So, for example, if it's、um, if it's in the legal profession, okay, they're there mainly because they want to help people that are downtrodden. If it's about scientific research, they're there because they want to because of their intellectual curiosity. So it's not just a job that people go to, you know, clock in, clock out, and then they leave their work at work. This is a job where people are just like really all about wanting to change the world, wanting wanting to be on the forefront of change, or wanting to kind of like leave the world a better place. So they're 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 in it because it promises 
some major change or it's on the forefront of change or it's very innovative or it's like a company that really really cares about their employees overall so i feel like you have a really good job coming into the picture for those who have been looking for quite some time um i feel like there's a lot of creativity associated with this job we have here the moon this is the card of pisces and pisces energy piscean energy it's um it's ruled by neptune okay and it's also greatly about like the, the big humanitarian values okay uh, how to leave the world a better place so that our ancestors or our descendants can inherit a clean environment okay so uh, there's a lot here about water quality air quality um helping a situation or you know like connecting feeling like very very plugged in to the overarching collective consciousness so that we're like we're not in this alone we're all in it together and so we want to be the best make the best of ourselves and, and be our most enlightened self so there's a lot here about bigger goals overarching like um social changes is what i'm sensing and then with that neptunian energy i also feel like there's a lot of creativity it rules arts it rules music it also rules like escapism so for many of you this might be you know a big gig for those who are in the acting industry or in the music production industry or in some type of a, a theatrical production this is like a very very big gig where the moon energy deals heavily with um arts and recreation and entertainment and your ruler the sun is all about you know fame notoriety success so i feel like the hard work is going to be laid out and i feel like it might be uh starting for this month actually in the march time frame in the time of pisces and i'm also sensing that with the hard work and the foundation laid out with this moon energy when the sun comes out that's when the fame the money the prestige will be coming into the picture so it's like you're very much in alignment here doing something that you love a job that really stirs your your passion and a job that is very very creative where you can have your imprint you can make your mark and you can leave like a piece of yourself to say like I did this I brought this together I created this so I feel like you're going to be really really happy with this new job so by all means you know go for it and and take it okay so um for some of you too there might be multiple job offers that you're thinking about possibly three of them that you're mulling over and i feel like you know one thing is as good as the next so i i feel like you're trying to choose the best option so this is a uh, about confusion and then sailing over this confusion like flying over or even moving away from this state of confusion so if you've been waiting for quite some time and you're just like why aren't they calling me back you're going to get the offer if you've been thinking like you know what's the best choice um i feel like there's a little bit of movement associated with this new job possibly moving a, uh, it, it could involve a lot of travel it could involve a lot of like um traveling by waterways traveling by uh air okay so like traveling by water i'm seeing a lot of people who might be scientists uh in the healthcare profession or especially in the movie entertainment healthcare scientists like marine biologists testing water quanti- uh, quality um taking a sample out of a swamp and going taking it back to a lab to to look at it under a microscope um testing the ph level of something and then i'm also seeing it's heavily research oriented where you test it and then you hypothesize and then or you hypothesize you test it and then you publish something okay so i feel like there's a lot of work behind the scenes and it seems like you're leading a team of people that's what it feels like to me um if you have been waiting for funding grants as well and uh some type of a financier to come into the picture we have some solid major solid good news so good for you leos uh an offer coming through and this can be money coming through from an institution financial aid scholarship grant 
、um, you might have turned in something like a project proposal,、um, and you're getting back like they're they're telling you that you know this sounds great. We're gonna help you fund it. You might have a business plan. You might be wanting to start your own business, and they're telling you that you know. Uh, we're going to be able to fund that for you, or we're going to give you a loan. So a lot of money coming through from an institution, and I feel like it's because you've really, really spent your time doing things the right way and do working very diligently to form something very solid, so that you can bring it out into the world. I'm also sensing there's definitely I'm seeing like a, a big shift from from one job to the next because we have here the Five of Cups. And this is usually like you know having to leave something behind in order to move away to the new thing, and it's like a very bittersweet type of a card. And then I'm also seeing as well having to leave like old coworkers, old colleagues, in order to shift into something new where you might not know anybody. And that's fine. You guys are very very outgoing. You can you know bounce back and and create your new community of people in no time. And then I'm also sensing as well.、Um, Be leaving like a very structured, stable, predictable environment, and you know, Leos, you guys do need that sense of stability. First and foremost, you you need like a a safe haven to come home to, and you guys also need like a、um, a home base, like a base of operation, a headquarter or something like that to operate out of. So I see one phase of your life has definitely ended, and for many of you, this could be institution. You might have worked in a very, very stable, solid environment, and the next place might require a lot more travel. It it might be like in leaving the public sector to go to the private sector, leaving school, and finally starting your life as a working person. So there's like a lot of trepidation I'm sensing, but once again, you don't let your fear. Run away with you. You nip it in the bud. You stomp it out, and you're always like very excited about you know new opportunities that are in store for you. Fire signs are very much about the new, okay? Very much about new experiences, new things, and living life to the fullest. They're very very robust, and they're very much. They're always welcoming new change. And so I feel like there's a lot here where there's, it's like your fears can only you know hold you back so much because you know that the next step is going to be a lot better for you. Okay. So on the relationship front, what I do have is a、um, a, a, a commencement, like things coming together, like a ceremony, a commencement, an escalation in a level of commitment in the relationship. And I feel like you know we we do have the king,、uh, the queen, and the knight of cups. So you might be dealing with a water sign, somebody who's very much awaiting your homecoming. And I'm also feeling like、um, there's a lot of generosity between you and this person. So、uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm also seeing as well an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And there might be an age gap between you and this air sign, and I feel like communication has not always been、um, smooth. Okay, so co communication has been always like a little bit problematic. And then I'm also seeing as well,、um, just like things being taken to the next level, planning things. And you know, planning trips, moving in,、uh, moving in together, buying property, getting a dog, talking about children—that's coming through. And what I have here is the Ace of Coins. This is like building something that will last a lifetime. The beginning—it's like the the building blocks of life. Okay. So, like for example, if you're taking the relationship to the next level, let's say you you would say like, let's look at a house. Let's look at a, a place where there's a school. Let's think about family. Let's see, you know, if your job provides maternity leave or paternity leave, and let's let's see where we should buy property so that it's good, it's near a, a really good school, so that we can have everything ready, so that when our children gets older and you know they're about to go to school, then we can enroll them in that school. So I feel like there's a, there's a lot of family planning here. 
Sorry about that, Leo's. Um, somebody knocked on my door, and it was、um, they they got the wrong person or they got the wrong unit. So I apologize.、Um, I'm feeling as well, and this might be the last thing that I、um, leave you with. If your bank account, you know, God forbid, for whatever reason, if you feel like you're in an environment where your bank account has been dwindling, I feel like there's some、um, not only like assistance, but I feel like there's a turnaround, a major, major turnaround when it comes to your financial resources. Okay, so I would advise you don't fret over it. Help is coming, and then I'm also sensing as well like、um, you might also be in that position where you're、um, you're helping somebody out of their predicament. If they've been really worried and concerned, like about their livelihood, about you know how things are going to play out the next day and the day after that and the next week and the next month, etc. I feel like there's a major turnaround when it comes to their、uh, financial situation or your financial situation. So they're they're saying like, don't fret, help is really on the way, and I feel like there's going to be、uh, a light shown into this dark crevice of a cave to be able to like help people out of it. So I'm seeing a lot of search and rescue. Honestly, I'm seeing a lot of scientists and a lot of people. That are like on the forefront of some major waves of revolutionary change, and I feel like you're leading the way, you're leading the charge, and you're going to be thrust in some big、uh, leadership positions very, very soon. Okay, so hang in there. I hope that the reading is helpful for you guys, and that I hope it provides、um, guidance as you enter the month of April or exit the month of April. Excuse me. Um, if you're looking for guidance, if you're looking for、uh, reading, I do have a link in the description box below of a psychic. Her name is Bridget, and she's based out of California. She's phenomenal. I highly recommend her. And、um, I will talk to you guys in about like a week and a half or so. Okay, take care of yourself.